I've been in a redecorating and rearranging mood lately. My bookshelves have now officially fallen victim to that. So today, I'm gonna rearrange my bookshelves. I have so many issues with these bookshelves at the moment. The one of the main ones being the light. They annoy the hell out of me because they take so many batteries. Each one of these lights takes three, three triple A batteries. So most of these, what the fuck? Most of these lights are completely dead, so I want to switch out these lights, and I also want to rearrange them a little bit. I'm kind of winging it, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to do to change these shelves. All I know is I want to change these shelves, and I'm bringing you guys along. Look at Ichigo. He looks more like old man Yama right now. Look at how much that already is. Today is going to be a long day. stuff off of my bookshelves i realized there's quite a bit of stuff that i got within the last couple of months and i never did a haul for them i'm gonna do that haul now i'm going to start with manga one of the books that i got was goodbye airy i believe it's airy it's a one shot this is from the same person who created chainsaw man i loved chainsaw man at least the manga the anime is a little bit questionable and what's interesting about this story is that it talks about coping with loss so i definitely feel like this is a great read right now i just started reading it i'm literally within the first 10 pages and i could already say that i'm obsessed with this manga yeah i'm excited to finish it the last two books that i got are the two volumes of berserk that i was missing which was volumes three and four i'm officially done collecting the berserk deluxe editions for now i'm not going to go too into detail about berserk because i haven't read this yes i collected the whole series without reading it what it wouldn't be the first time that i've done it but i haven't heard anyone in the anime slash manga community who has hated berserk so yeah and i wanted to collect them all before i read the series because honestly even skimming through the pages i could already tell that i really like the series so i don't like reading series and having to stop halfway through so i'm happy that i'm finally finished the series and i can read it till the end now i'm going into figures all of these figures are funko pops i'm obsessed with collecting funko pops what was it amazon prime day they don't really have a lot of good deals but what i do notice is they discount their funko pops significantly so during Amazon Prime Day, I did get some Funko Pops that I have been wanting. One of the Funko Pops that I've wanted for a long time is an Ichigo Funko Pop. This was less than $10 when I got it off of Amazon, so I think it was worth it, and it's another figure to add to my Bleach collection. I also got Arthur with Excalibur, or his sword, whatever you want to call it. I believe this is with Excalibur. I have started collecting Fire Force, the omnib Omnibus Book, so I wanted some figures to go with it and Arthur is one of my favorite characters so I'm very excited about this purchase. The next one that I got is Edward Elrich. I wanted to add another figure to my Full Metal Alchemist collection. I only have one figure from Full Metal Alchemist which is this one right here, Oliver Armstrong. I'm very excited about this one. Look at how freaking cool this one looks. I'm so excited to take it out of the box. Yes, I am one of those Funko Pop collectors who takes their Funko Pops out of the box. I'm not delusional. I know I'm not going to resell them. So that's why I take them out of the box. I genuinely don't care. <laughs> I think too many people are kind of stuck on, oh, I'm going to resell this. I'm going to resell this. But where's the fun? You spent all of that money to wait 20 years to resell it for the price to go up, what, 
$100, that doesn't seem worth it. 20 years is worth $100? Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm taking these out of the box. Okay, let me go into my next one. This is not from an anime. It's the General Mills Funko Pop. The reason why I got it is because it's pink. And if you see right here, I have a pink shelf. So I wanted to have another figure to add. And that was the only shelf that I actually didn't have a Funko Pop for. The next figure that I got is Megami. Fushi Gero, for Fushi Gero from Jujutsu Kaisen. This is the one with his dog. I actually got this figure from Five Below. If you're looking for Funko Pops or you want to start collecting some like small little figures, Five Below has a lot. Usually when you go to any other place, Funko Pops are at least $10. So oh my god yeah they have a whole bunch of Funko Pops so if you're starting to collect I would suggest going to five below and see what you could get they also have a whole bunch of just anime posters um anime planners journals and a whole bunch of blind boxes at least what the one that I went to this is another one that I got from five below this is Sheik I don't know how to pronounce the name this is a Baruto I have not watched Baruto truthfully I haven't even finished Naruto I kind of got bored halfway through and stopped watching it but that's besides the point I really love Shikamaru and his son is so adorable so that's why I decided just to get this Funko Pop for fun this one is actually my Funko Pop that I'm most excited about I will actually say this is probably one of my favorite figures that I've gotten this is Madara Uchiha in his nice little Akatsuki outfit I think this figure is so cute and I got it for $5 so I'm super excited. This is honestly truthfully one of my favorite figures that I got. I can't wait to take him out of the box. Oh my god. So these are all the books that I took off of just shelf one. My figures I also separated though by Funko Pop. Just like the small little decorative figures. Um, if I have a set I put the sets together. The clips and then the bigger figures right here including the bigger cat and my little decorations like the paintings the seashells cards any crystals that i have i put right here yeah i found that it was a lot easier organizing everything on the floor as i was going but i'm gonna quickly do the second shelf because it took me an hour to do the first one so i'll be right back okay so now i've done all of these shelves i just haven't finished doing this shelf i decided to finally let the hoop dreams go for these flowers because now they have mold on them and i'm sure that's not great to breathe in before i do the flowers let me just show you guys how much stuff was on these bookshelves now that I'm looking at it, it actually doesn't look like that much, but that's because some of the stuff from the other bookshelves I put on the bookshelf and I put on my bed. flowers got pollen all over my shelves it looks like someone's enjoying the shelves being empty light strips these are actually motion activated you could actually set them to stay on for a couple of hours you could do a day setting and a night setting the best part about these lights are the fact that they're rechargeable so instead of constantly switching the batteries and constantly having to throw away batteries you could use these and recharge them here's the difference it's definitely a lot brighter because it uses white light instead of these warm tone lights no that doesn't look even at all <gasps> oh, no, I guess I'm stuck with it. Okay, so I read online that hand sanitizer works the best at removing these, and I can confirm that it does work. And I'm just using this like mail opener that I had just to 
just to kind of separate it and it left no damage. The only thing that it left were the pen marks that I used to stick them on. first two shelves are done I didn't add any to the middle because I'm gonna do books first then figures and then decorative pieces I think that'll be easier just to get rid of the bulk of the books off of my floor I'm starting my somewhat not finished series so I want this shelf to be kind of like more of the gruesome gross series I'm gonna start with chainsaw man I'm gonna go by which ones have the most volume next one I don't even remember how to like pronounce this actually I feel like this should be one of the last Ooh. That was the worst sound ever. This one is very gruesome. It's kind of like post-apocalyptic type of theme. So most of post-apocalyptic mangas are really freaking disgusting. Okay, this is an example. Oh, by the way, that's that guy's head in the corner. So yeah, pretty gruesome. Um, I'm gonna do Hell's Paradise. Okay, let's do that. Okay, Hell's Paradise. Okay, so here's the gruesome and gory shelf. Ugh. You know what? I'm gonna add this manga. It's more pervy. <laughs> I don't I don't know if I can use that word on YouTube. Um, it's more of a It's wrapped in plastic. It's pervy and gross. So I'm just gonna add this in. And it fits perfectly. Woo I haven't read Attack on Titan. I did watch Attack on Titan when I first started anime and I just couldn't get into it because I was used to funnier animes and Attack on Titan, there is like not a lot of humor. It's kind of very deep and gory. So I'm just gonna add attack on titan okay so this is gonna be the little cutesy shelf which means it's gonna be my shoujo shelf i'm gonna do my fruits baskets collection <gasps> oh i thought i was missing the volume well the next thing that i'm gonna add is technically a <clears throat> oh Oh my god. Is tech a shonen? But personally, to me, I think it's like a cutesy anime. So I tend to leave it with my shonen, my shonen, my shoujo. So it's spy family. I would suggest if you are new to anime, before I used to say My Hero Academia was a good beginner anime, but a lot of people don't like it. So now that spy family exists, I would say that Spy Family is definitely a good series to start with. There's enough action but cute comedy. So there's a good middle and you're not so overwhelmed by constant fighting and like dramatic scenes. So I would 100% suggest this series. If you're like me and a hardcore shonen fan and you kind of want to get introduced to other types of anime, I would suggest Fruits Baskets. It was the first shoujo that I ever watched and it was really good. There were romantic scenes but it wasn't too much. There were inappropriate relationships in it but I will say if you want to get into shoujo there's so many inappropriate relationships so that's just a warning. Another series that I really did like is 
given this is not is it a shoujo it's a bl which bl stands for boy i believe boy love this was my first introduction to series like this and i could say i do have more boy love manga i will not show you the rest of my bl collection because again it's plastic wrap you need to leave. do with that information what you will i actually sadly stopped watching it watching it and reading it because something happened within the series that i didn't really like and it kind of turned me off from the series it seems like it turned off a lot of fans from the series so i don't know i have come to the conclusion that i will add my fiction books i think there might be a little bit of non-fiction i'm not sure on to this bookcase i was very hesitant to do that because i really just wanted my bookshelves to be straight manga but i think that's kind of unrealistic i have a really big bookshelf unit so i'll add my fiction books and we'll see how much of my bookshelves it fills up starting off with song of achilles just read it go into it without knowing what it's about and read it you'll love it I refuse to believe there's any person who's into books who doesn't like Song of Achilles. I'm gonna be real, most of these books I have not read, so I'm only gonna suggest the books that I've read. As you can see, I read this one. Read it. It's so freaking good. It had me laughing, it had me bawling, it had me all over the place with my emotions. Just know, if there's anything to take away from this book, it's about love it's gay and it's black and you can never go wrong with that so just just read it it's so good there's so many different backgrounds so many different cultures so many different ideologies and seeing that be put into a romance novel was just so refreshing and you should definitely give it a try god this person's story this is not technically a fiction book this is actually about a real person and a real story i will forever suggest to every person on this planet to read this book the his story is like honestly i think it's well known but if you don't know this his story just read this book and it'll 100 percent be worth it read it and let me know what you guys think <laughs> Oh my goodness. I have an idea. I think it's great. Those who watch Naruto will understand. Okay. Ooh. Let's do it. Ooh, ew, that sound was terrible. How are we feeling? Do we understand yet? I think you're understanding a little, just to make it a little easier. Sense? It makes sense. Does it look good? I don't know.
shelves look now, but the real magic happens at...